Hey, what's up guys? This is Dan Adams with Next Level Riding Clinics. Today, we're going to be talking about preseason sled maintenance. Let's get into it. So it's that time of year, guys. We're getting excited. If we didn't go out and buy a brand new sled, we've got our used snowmobile. It's really important to go over and just check out a few simple things to make sure that when it's time to ride, you're ready. So for starters, let's take the hood and side panels off. So preseason, it's really important to check the life of your belt, check its tension, as well as overall inspection of your primary and secondary clutches. So part of your preseason maintenance is for sure checking your clutch life as well as your belt life. Um, going over your belt, this is a Polaris 1183, which is the, the belt that goes into an 800 axis snowmobile. Using a brand new belt is a great way to identify with the existing belt uh, if there's any issues, some fatigue, uh, the threads are typically missing, we'll end up with a lot of glazing on a belt like this. It's pretty, pretty standard to start off your year with a fresh belt. Um, and then in terms of going into your clutches, if you're going to do it yourself, I've pulled off a clutch from another sled. It's really important that we clean these surfaces. You can take some emery cloth and you can really clean those up. You don't want to use really anything that abrasive uh, to clean these up. You can cross hatch that using the emery cloth and that'll really help clean up the interior surfaces of your primary. You're also wanting to check and inspect your primary spring. And a lot of times visual inspection, just looking at it, I have seen these primary springs break well inside of the housing. So pulling the outer plate off of here and getting into that spring, that's really gonna identify if it's a fatigue spring or broken. And preseason, it's a turbo sled, I would change it. The other thing to inspect here would be your weights. And once this is released, you'll have no tension on your weights. You can make sure that everything is flowing freely. Uh, cleaning these things with some brake cleaner and just making sure that everything goes together. Uh, you can have all the power in the world of your engine, and if you don't have the clutches working properly, we're not getting any of that power to the ground. So this is kind of like the, one of the main ingredients to how our sleds, well, or how your sled will beat the other guy to the top of the hill. Yep, so if your clutches are kind of past that point where you feel like uh, as a do-it-yourselfer, you can handle it, um, a great source is to use starting line products. I have repeatedly over the, over the years here taken my primary clutch and secondary clutch off the sled and sent it over to starting line. They will put it in their machine, they will clean it thoroughly, they will replace everything that needs to be replaced, uh, and it will actually come back to you looking better than it did when you bought your sled. In terms of belt tension, you see a lot of guys doing this, and a great way to, to check your tension that seems to work is pulling back from the top part of the belt, pulling back on the secondary, and if the belt is able to stay sliding back like this with, with some effort, not too much, I feel like you've got good belt tension. If, if we do have to make uh, an adjustment, we've got our tensioner here with our Allen and our tensioner nut to tighten or loosen the belt. In terms of overall inspection of the secondary, once again, cleaning these interior surfaces, uh, this does have a spring inside of it. So to be able to get to that, you're pulling out these four Allens, getting into your helix and making sure that that internal spring is uh, definitely together, but chances are it's as fatigued as, it's, uh, as well. It's all based on how many miles you have on the sled, how much use it has, but as a preseason part of my checklist, I'm definitely going through my clutches so that I start the year with fresh springs, good belt tension, as well as probably a new belt, and everything is just working properly. So another part of the preseason checklist for me is checking for exhaust leaks. A lot of times you'll get an exhaust leak right at the Y pipe. So you've got these connections here. You can tell, and I've pulled this off another sled, you know, this gasket is pretty worn out. You can tell that this is gonna go here and boom, bolt to the motor. A lot of times we'll get leakage out of, out of this. And then we've got this connection here where the first part of our exhaust will wrap around. And then obviously we've got another connection where it's going into the silencer and or down into the turbo system. Even more important to check for exhaust leaks. Um, so replacing this, this one's a bear to get to, but getting in there and replacing that is an awesome part of preseason. Checking to make sure that our springs are all intact. 
Um, and on a turbo system, a lot of these are gonna be doubled up. On a stock machine, most of these will just be singles, but I would inspect to make sure that those springs are all there. Some high temp silicone in and around those exhaust connections will really help prevent exhaust leaks. And a lot of times to check for an exhaust leak, it's best to bring your sled outside, fire it up, let it build the temp, and just inspect those areas. Trust me, if you've got an exhaust leak, you're gonna see it. You'll see smoke billing out of an area that it shouldn't. So depending on mileage of your snowmobile, which this one doesn't have a ton of miles on it, but it's important to, I think, pre-season pre would be to inspect and clean your exhaust valve. So opening this up, determining whether or not the gaskets have failed, once again, it's another spot where things could leak out, especially over time. It's had a summer of sitting, um, and it's just important to come through, inspect, and clean everything about our exhaust valves. We want this sled to run tip-top right out of the gate so that you have a great start to your season. Well, since this is a Boondocker Sidekick Turbo, uh, some pre-season things I'd like to check would be just going through and each one of these connections where we've got our hose clamps and everything all connecting and keeping all of this together, we've already checked for exhaust leaks. Let's just go through and just visually inspect as well as just turn a wrench. Just grab a nut driver, come through each one of these areas and tighten things up. Also taking a rag, coming up underneath the turbo housing, maybe down here uh, underneath the exhaust and underneath the turbo and looking for any kind of oil leaks, especially fresh oil. Um, that would determine whether or not we've got anything that's leaking or has sprung a leak over the summer. So on this particular axis, this is a, a, a 2.6 with a belt drive system. It's really important to inspect the belt just like our clutch belt. So inspecting the belt drive is, is either getting this sled up on a jack stand and slowly rotating the track so that I can inspect the cogs on the belt drive. If I wanna go a step further than that, uh, getting a wrench on these and just retightening each one of your top and bottom pulleys, that would be important and, and definitely part of the preseason checkpoint. So those of you that have a chain case modeled sled, remember that these things no longer have a drain plug. So you're gonna basically wanna get rid of your brake, you're gonna undo your chain case, pop it apart, it's a bit of a mess, but servicing your chain case is really important. You know, we don't get to, we don't get to see what's happening under there and without the drain plug that used to be magnetic where you could see if you had metal shavings in there, we've kind of just got to find that out. Well, I'd rather do that pre-season. So pulling all of this apart, your oil is going to go down. So have a, uh, an oil pan below you, let it all drain out, clean it all, inspect the chain, inspect your top and bottom sprocket, inspect your tensioner, and then putting it all back together and then simply filling it up again is just a fill to spill. But the chain case, for those of you that have that, don't ignore this. This is as important as your clutches, your belt, everything else. Doing a service on your chain case is something that you should at least do once a year. Do it pre-season and depending on mileage, we'll do ours maybe every five to 700 miles. So if you're an air shock guy like I am, uh, a Fox shock over the summer, if you didn't already bleed the air out of these shocks just in storage, chances are you're gonna have to redo and get your suspension both in the EVOL and main chamber back up to the numbers that you run. Uh, obviously you can tell I don't have the sled suspended correctly, so for now I'm just showing you. Uh, attaching to the little guy, to the EVOL first, and then the main chamber second, and getting those numbers, those air pressures back up to your specs will be really important and I would say an integral part of your preseason checklist uh, before you go out and ride. So checking that air pressure and then overall inspection of the shock. Uh, chances are over the summer your rebound or your compression settings if you do have that style of shock didn't change your QS3s but just overall inspection of the shock I would also look from the lower A arm to up here in the casting just to make sure that there's no fatigue or cracking anything like that those are things that preseason we'd want to address right away same thing on the rear shocks uh, visual inspection of the rear skid. Um, does it hurt to go through and put some grease on these? So pull the bolts. A lot of times that's a 13 millimeter. Pull those nut and bolt combos, throwing some grease in there. And once again, just inspection of the shock and getting those back up to air pressures. Uh, that's the way we want to start our year. So moving back on the snowmobile, checking those, uh, your, your shock pressures. We would want to also do that underneath here in the rear skid. But while we're on our way back, a visual inspection of all of these parts here. You know, we've got uh, the stock running board here. A lot of times we'll see fatigue uh, or any of those areas here. This would be the time to address those issues. So making sure that there's no bends, we don't have any rivets falling out, there's no cracking, there's no issues here. Coming back onto this, same thing. 
back here where we've got the lower support, I want to make sure that these, these connections here are all in good working order. Uh, do I want to throw a, a socket and a wrench on this and, and make sure that everything in our suspension is tight? And the answer is why wouldn't we, right? Um, really important part of that. We move back onto the track itself, checking track tension. Uh, we can get into that into another video. Um, if it was working from the end of the year, chances are it's okay. Obviously we deal with our track tension back here towards the rear idler wheels. But for me, I'm checking the overall condition of the track itself. So a lot of times putting this up onto a track stand, I uh, take a torch and I'll burn the, the loose hairs along the edges of the track. I'm looking for fatigue, uh, tears, or even missing paddles all throughout the track. Um, if we can find one of those early enough, a lot of times that tells us, well, man, we need a new track. I would way rather purchase a new track than have a track tear or break on me in the backcountry, especially on that first ride. Well, since your handlebars are where you control the snowmobile from, I would say a great preseason check would be to check your throttle, checking the throttle cable specifically. So feeling the throttle, uh, visual inspection of what you can see, but then also just feeling, making sure that there's no kinks, there's no funny spots in that as you're grabbing the throttle. Now would be the time to replace that if necessary. Also making sure that the tension is correct against your throttle block. I've seen that get a lot of people where they've got this either way too loose or way too tight. Your kill switch functions, I would just look for loose wiring, any of those things, making sure that that's working properly, and then brake pressure. Um, over the summer, something's happened, you've had something bleed off, maybe you got a bubble in there and your brake's not working properly. So all those basic functions, but just an overall inspection of your handlebars, knowing that that first ride out, uh, you want it to be a good one. So making sure that all your controls up here are in really good working order. I would even check to make sure that my tether was still working properly. Easy enough, fire up the sled, pull the tether, making sure that there's no wear in the plunger and away you go. So as part of my preseason, I really want to drain the fuel. So whether it's uh, a, a racing turbo sled with av gas uh, or 110 race fuel, or even a pump gas setup like this Sidekick Turbo with 91 octane, it's been sitting in the sun, it's been sitting in storage. I want to make sure that I drain out that old fuel and start with fresh. So I'll just use this electric siphon and away I go. Getting as much fuel out of the system and starting with fresh 91, that's going to ensure that that first day of riding is a good one. So there you have it guys, besides giving it a good overall clean, inspecting the snowmobile, hopefully this preseason maintenance video really helped you. If you've got anything else that you do for preseason, make sure to leave it in the comments below. Subscribe to our channel and for future videos, put that in the comments as well, what you'd like to see. We're going to be doing this all season long. Have a safe winter and we'll see you out there.